Good morning. Welcome. Welcome, friend, to Volume 2, Issue 11 of Coffee with Kira. I am recording this on a Saturday, um, the Saturday before it comes out. So I am uh, close to actual time here, which is easier for my brain to process, but also confusing. There's just no way around it unless I do these live, which I don't feel like waking up at 5 a.m. on a Sunday morning. So, although I probably will anyway, because I decided I'm going to run my half marathon tomorrow. Um, I was going to do it the week after this, so in a week from now, basically, um, and like give myself an extra long run training day, but I was like, I was going to do, um, 11 miles and I decided if I can do 11 miles. I can do 13. I've done, I've, I've also run a half marathon before that was a really intense race because it was super hilly and on trails um, and so I know I can do a road race for 13 miles and I'll just you know take very good care of myself afterwards and rest and nap and do all the things uh, to to recover from that so we're in a race tomorrow which is exciting or today at the time that you receive this um, Oh, I'm also tomorrow, slash today, the time you receive this, doing another art venture. There's still time to sign up. This is the painting that I'm going to lead you through. And this is the little roadrunner drawing who uh, we will put on the painting. Or you can just leave it like this, because that looks nice too. So there is that. Um, I'm very pleased with how this little little guy came out. This is based on a photo I took um, traveling through Nevada, I think. This looks like a road trip picture I took with Jamie in Nevada, probably on our way up to Idaho or something. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's going on today, uh, Sunday. Uh, starts at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, I would love to see you there. The more the merrier with the art ventures. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna lead you through the painting and then give you some time afterwards to, to catch up and fine-tune and do what you want. Um, and I might even read you a story because I have a collection of kids books that don't see the light of day enough. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, in knitting news, breaking knitting news, I picked up my sock again. I almost have a foot done. <laughs> this is the nice little kind of waffle stitch. I'm sure it has a name, but I just kind of made it up. Basically, I knit two, purl two for two rows, and then I knit straight two rows. So it has kind of a nice little waffle texture. This is what the yarn looks like in stockinette. This is yarn over New York. It's the dyer. And it's a very, very nice colorway. I enjoy it quite a lot. So I'm excited to have a pair of socks. Um, we started trivia night again at one of our local breweries. And that is usually when I work on my sock knitting is during trivia. or when I'm traveling and out and about because this sweater is getting out of control, out of hand. It is too big. It's almost too big to carry across the house. Y'all have seen the body of the sweater and I have a sleeve going. Um, I am a, almost halfway through all the decreases and then I think I knit I think it ends at the last decrease, so I'm about halfway through this sleeve, and it has a cable on the top, which I don't think is coming out quite as nicely because I'm doing it, the, the pattern is written to have you do it in reverse because you knit up on these and you knit down on these, and I'm not, I mean, it looks fine, but I think it looks crisper 
and you knit it from the bottom up. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. It still looks great. I'm still proud of it, and I hope Jamie wears it a lot. I know he can hear me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've just been working on that. Um, slowly but surely, I'm, yeah. It's, uh, I, I definitely have been spending less time knitting because I've been doing house projects. I have been painting, um, I painted the guest bathroom and put up the mirror and it looks awesome. At least on that side of the bathroom, it looks awesome. We have guests coming this weekend, so it's all ready for them. Um, and today, Saturday, I'm, my goal is to build, to assemble, sand, assemble, and put up shelves for our DVD collection. So um, I went with my parents to Lowe's to learn how, <laughs> learn the secret code, which doesn't exist, uh, to get them to cut lumber for you. Um, since I don't have like saws or anything and um, all you do is ask it's very simple um, but I don't like talking to people so yes I know I'm only 31 years old I can do things by myself but I wanted my parents to help me <laughs> so we got that done and now I know how to do it and I can get all the other shelves cut for the rest of the house um, I finished a painting this is um, my Merdancer. You can kind of see, there's his eye. His little eye peeking out and his beak and then his big white patch there. And then I like how this little piece turned out. It needs some varnish. You can see that Mod Podge. Um, yeah, this is Merdancer at Horseshoe Lake. And it's, uh, the background of course is a picture I took on a run one day. I need to get back out there. Once my, um, once my half marathon is done, this is partly why I like want to get the half marathon out of the way is because in my mind, I'm like, once that's done, I'm going to go straight back to trails. I'm going to do trail running, hiking. Um, I have to, I literally like my road shoes are on their last legs, <laughs> last feet. <laughs> um, and I have a set a pair of trail runners, so I will be spending way more time on trails um, after my official half marathon. So, yes, that is exciting. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the middle of next week if I remember. But yeah, this is Merganser on Horseshoe, Horseshoe Lake. It is a nine by 12, $275 if you are interested. And yeah, I have my next piece, um, I have my next two uh, planned out already. I have one more of these little 9 by 12 canvas boards. And on that, I'm going to put, it's going to be horizontal, I'm going to put um, a peacock, because we have peacocks in Upper Bidwell, or Lower Bidwell, uh, Bidwell Park. Um, there's a family that raises them and they just wander around on the south side of the park um, and there's this spot where you can see them a lot so um, on my run the other day I took a picture of the spot so I've got my little reference ready and then I'm gonna put a peacock and his his tail feathers are usually trimmed this big big old peacock so um, that will be this one and then for my next piece I'm gonna have to get into some bigger spaces which is exciting I I do have a bunch of canvases stacked back here stashed back here I'm gonna pull one of those out and um, do some flowers and hummingbirds because flowers are cool and I don't get to paint them often enough and I would like to paint more of them and our fountain I may have mentioned this last week. I forget who I, you know, tell my stories to. It's fine. I'll repeat myself. Because the truth of the matter is, I doubt you remember either. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Um, this is why I write everything down. Our fountain, we have a fountain out front, which I was determined to just get rid of, but it has koi fish in it, so now we have fish, which they're the shyest fish ever, so they basically don't exist like I'm throwing food into an empty pond um, and 
I was out there the other day filling up the pond and these four hummingbirds came like around me and and there's a little waterfall in the fountain and they like got in the waterfall and like were drinking the water and like cleaning their little selves it was so precious so uh now we can't get rid of the fountain because it's a hummingbird destination a lot of other birds uh bathe in the fountain too so um it is staying we do need to like do some serious replanting in the yard it is a jungle and it's a halfway dying jungle we'll figure it out but the fountain is staying and I'm I'm gonna paint a big piece with like flowers some local flowers and um, I think three little hummingbirds so that'll be my next big piece and um, like I tend to do I kind of carry out a line of thought until I feel like switching gears it's kind of intuitive um, and I was thinking after the peacock piece I'd be done but then I had this idea for this hummingbird piece so it'd be nice to balance it out with a couple other larger pieces especially for shows um, but we'll see I'm sure that two pieces later I'll have more ideas I just don't right now I'm just you know trying to trust the process that's been like my mantra for the last month or so. Um, yeah, I know that I know that more ideas will come. Ideas are plentiful. And with that, here I am almost 12 minutes in. Um, I will let you get back to your day and your coffee. And um, I hope that you've had a lovely weekend so far and that you continue to have a lovely weekend. Yes. Trust the process. Trust the process. One step at a time. Everything is always working out. It'll be fine. Bye.